Kani. I am 26 years old. I am from St. Petersburg, Florida, and I used to be a live content creator at a live streaming platform called Vigo. And as of now, I am a head designer at a solar company. Yep, yep, yep. So I design the solar panels before they go onto the house. So yeah, <laughs> so I'm in the solar industry. Um, some of the hobbies that I enjoy and some of the hobbies that I'm doing as of now, um, I am, I've got into thrifting. I love thrifting. Thrifting is my favorite thing to do. I love going to the thrift store, buying a couple, buying stuff, getting a bag of clothes for like $20 and taking those pieces and making something new out of it. Like that. Um, I also I also love working out. I love making jewelry. Hi, my name is Makani. I'm 26 years old. I am from St. Petersburg, Florida, and I used to be a live content creator for a platform called Bigo. Bigo Live. I used to make a lot of DIY projects, interior designing projects, renovations, cooking, working out videos. Uh, on my live stream platform so basically I had like my own situation <laughs> of creating content and just being creative and I love that so much as of now in the real world um, right now I'm in the solar industry I am the head designer at a solar company in Florida so it's really exciting because I got into the home industry um, I was trying to be a stager here and got the opportunity in working in the solar industry. I love what I do because I feel like I am making a difference and helping people save money and it's go green, save green <laughs> type of situation. <laughs> uh, some of my hobbies, uh, I have a lot of hobbies. <laughs> I think my favorite hobby would be thrifting. I love thrifting. That is my favorite hobby. I love going to the thrift store and finding things that are just different and vintage and taking it and recreating something new from it so i love making vintage pieces turn into something modern i also do that with furniture so i love upcycling that is a huge passion of mine um and another hobby is driving around my neighborhood i love driving around my neighborhood and looking and hunting um hunting for for just furniture just furniture that nobody cares about I'll take it and then I'll sand it up and paint it. I love taking things that are not loved anymore and making it loved again. And I truly love it. <laughs> so yeah, I love adding love to whatever I find. Another thing that I love, another hobby of mine is jewelry making and clothing making. Um, I, I really do love um, painting and creating art cooking I love making costumes I love dressing up I love cosplay I would say another hobby of mine would be eating <laughs> I mean who doesn't like to eat as a hobby <laughs> but that's why I work out I try to find the balance of life <laughs> it was like eating is a lot of fun some of my interests would be working out I love taking care of myself I love doing masks I love doing my hair, putting on makeup. I have a passion of just showing myself to the world and in my creative outlook. Like I love expressing myself and I love expressing myself through color, through accessories, through just like my accessories. Look at this, look at this outfit. Yeah, it's different, it's chic, it's modern, it's hip, it's classy, it's just, you know, it's just myself. I love gaming. I actually had, I used to do gaming on my live stream channel. So I've done a lot. Actually, I actually played a game called House Flipper. And I love that. I got to just do a complete renovation. So the creative thought process was just going in there and just renovating it through a game. And I really wanted to actually because of the game and because of the things that i've done the projects i've done i actually wanted to go into actually becoming an interior designer and art tech and then i found out you know i had a mentor that told me makani you can't go into this world of design and you think that a computer is not going to take your job he's in the next five ten years a computer 
is going to take your job. So you're trying to do some interior design projects. The computer is already going to just, just create it magically. And you're not going to be needed. And then I was like, well, I could be the person behind the computer. And he was like, you know, if you're trying to make money in the home industry, you should be a plumber. And I'm like, a plumber? I mean, I know I wear my tool belt every time you guys see me, every time people see me on my live stream channel. They always saw me with a tool belt, <laughs> or I was very animated. So either it was a tool belt or my chef, <laughs> my, my chef uh, apron. It was just something. Every day was something. It was very animated there. Depending on the content, I was fully dressed and ready. Uh, he told me the money is in plumbing. And I'm like, plumbing? What the heck? Well, I can't be a plumber. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> okay, hold on. I know how to use my tools, but I'm not that type of tools. Uh, and then he told me the money's in construction. And I'm like, well, hmm. <laughs> I mean, I like the sun, but I don't like the sun that much. And then he told me, you know, the money's in solar. And I'm like, solar? At the time I was in Arizona and I'm like, solar? Hmm, how do I get into that? Moving back to Florida, um, I got into the solar industry out of luck, I guess, because I really wanted to get into the home industry. I wanted to be a stager. That was like my goal to making some money on the side and doing my thing um, and, and fixing, you know, kind of my life reinventing my life again since I just got a relationship and stuff so um I'm now I'm in the solar industry I love it I truly love it I love it I love it uh, I do plan on going back to live streaming again because I was making pretty good money doing that too and it was just a platform of creativity and making stuff and everybody I had the support I had the support to keep going you know and yeah I had to stop for a little bit so I do plan on going back to that. Um, my interest is definitely connecting with people and getting to know people. I have an interest in playing basketball and volleyball and working out. I'm very, I, I like to be athletic and I like to just keep my body and everything just moving. I have a lot of energy. I love to dance. I can, da I can dance belly dancing, can do some you know latin stuff you know and then i can i love dancing afro beats like you know just give me some beats and i got the dance moves that's all i know you know i will say i have like this the spanish flavor but i'm not hispanic at all just saying just saying <laughs> but anyways um yeah that is like my interest i guess i i was raised in a small town kansas city missouri I moved here um, half of my life I lived in Kansas City and we ended up moving here to Florida I had some family here I grew up in a very sheltered strict family I seen my family work very hard um, they're not from America so they work very hard and my mom and my dad you know had their own situation and they saved money and they ended up you know, when we moved to Florida, buying houses when the, the house market was cheap and flipping it. I used to renovate houses and I saw them doing that. Specifically, I seen my mom do it. This is my mom's project. So she used to buy the houses and slowly but surely she was just knocking down walls and putting something else in there and making her kitchen bigger and adding just, just designs and um you know just it was just wonderful to see because she was a woman and she was doing all this stuff and in the culture you know women are not supposed to do that and I'm like looking at her like hey you're not supposed to do that either <laughs> like type of thing but hey she did it and growing up you know I had my uncles and my father was great my, my uncle I had a couple uncles that were not so great and they believed a woman should just be in the kitchen and you know be doing the laundry all the time and I'm like, you know, that's not my goals in life. Okay, hold on. You know, they tried to get me married early and I wasn't having it. Anyways, I did end up getting married early, but not to the people that they wanted me to marry. <laughs> now I'm like, dang it, should have married them. <laughs> Some of the renovations that I've done are garage makeovers. I've done four of those and I've done living room makeovers, bedroom makeover, kids bedroom makeovers. I have helped um, my mom with the kitchen, doing a kitchen project. Uh, what else did I do? I did a patio makeover. 
and I've done a lot of designing clothing I did a lot of upcycling furniture sanding it down painting it and making it like you know something beautiful and wonderful uh, but oh I also did custom kicks I used to paint shoes like legit oh, let me show you <laughs> okay I didn't even know I was gonna bring the shoe out here but a lot so I used to take old pair of shoes <laughs> or like kind of like kind of messed up and I used to actually paint them paint them custom colors so sometimes you can't find a shoe that's fuchsia it's my favorite color so I did paint one time um, pink shoes <laughs> I painted my shoes pink I've done some black shoes with gold rim in the bottom Nikes and it all turned out pretty cool and when I was doing live streaming I used to just do a whole bunch of creative projects and shoes was one of them that made me feel really comfortable in front of the camera because I was very camera shy in the beginning because I had never been like really in front of a camera so uh, doing the creative DIYs and projects really got me in a comfortable state and then it built my confidence up into doing something bigger and better and then I ended up doing the garages and renovating those into my dream closet, into my boutique, into my studio, into my game room, into a daycare room. And uh, a lot of the people that have been watching me over the past three years seen my growth. I mean, they've seen me as a shy person and not very confident to a butterfly. I don't know what I do now. I know how to do it. So that's exciting. <laughs> um, next, I'm going to show you guys all of the designing design projects that I have, that I've taken pictures of. I don't have everything, but I have some. I also have done a lot of artwork, and I don't have those, unfortunately. Um, but I, I have <laughs> some things, and here is some of my stuff. I don't know. I just do random sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so uh, another was tell us about any obstacles that you had overcome pursuing design. Some of the obstacles that I've endured during uh, the time of design was trial and error. At first, I did not think I was good enough. Um, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I used to make Barbie clothes when I was young and I failed so many times because I couldn't get it right and I wanted to get a design a certain way. I wanted to design the dress a certain way and it just didn't work. So I, I ended up just trial and error, just trying it so many times until I got it right. And I'm a perfectionist, so I've been just trial and just trying and trying and trying and trying to get it to be um, the way I would like it to be. So I dreamed to be a fashion designer when I was younger and until I got into the home industry and I have a true passion for home design and home just just creating magic just making it more magical like look at this vibe okay I know I'm standing behind a white curtain but look at the blue lighting it's like a little touch and look at the flowers just a little you know, little spark in there you know <laughs> I mean, it's just a little something something. I mean, personally, I would wear something black just to show, you know, my outfit more. Cause it's like, you know, <laughs> anyways. Well, I might have to cut this part out. But anyways, we'll just keep it there so you know my personality. <laughs> um, tell us about, so, yeah, some of the, uh, wait. <laughs> Alright, so some of the obstacles, another obstacle that I would say is, I had a lot of put downs growing up and mainly from my uncle, mm -hmm, Uncle T, no, 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 okay, mainly from my uncle I've been put down many times in regards to going to the fashion world and being this creative person and being so expressive. Um, I've been put down and a lot of people have been telling me like, everything's already made, why are you trying to do that, that's not something you should do. Um, pretty much, I think my uncle's goal was for me to be a trophy wife. I mean, damn. I mean, I think I'd make a good trophy, but damn. I don't want to be a trophy wife. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to curse. Um, <laughs> mainly my uncle thought it was silly for me to go into the, the beauty world, the fashion world. Um, he, you know, I had a lot of negative feedback and growing up, 
and especially since I did marry young and I married my best friend I got the the time to explore like, who I am and what I like to do and during the time I had my garage where um, in the nighttime my creativity would come to life so early mornings late nights when everybody's sleeping I would go to my garage and just keep trying keep figuring out what is my purpose what am I good at who am I <laughs> like just trying to figure myself out like I didn't really get that opportunity growing up I didn't get into the music industry I didn't get into the art industry like I would love to I just didn't you know it didn't I didn't know who I was and I, at, at the time like a garage meant so much to me and it still does the garage is my sanctuary the garage is my place where I can lock the door and just create magic create what my mind is thinking about and that's just colors <laughs> colors and texture that's what it's thinking about <laughs> all right next question okay a personal issue that i'm facing today well uh personal issues that i'm facing today oh, that's a great question um hmm. well i am going through a divorce I think that's a huge personal issue um, my life completely changed I mean I pretty much grew up with somebody and now we're just completely like separated and I've never realized how toxic it was until I left and I never realized how unloving the relationship was I mean I was all about the love part you know that's me um, but he believed uh, differently he believed that a man should not love and uh, this is a long story the military man so you know their mindset kind of just changes they have no emotions and I was just basically with a robot <laughs> at the time and I'm like okay yes sir yes sir sure I'll have your chores ready anyways um I ended up I think that's the biggest the biggest obstacle is going through a divorce and relocating with and starting from zero so starting from zero but i've created everything that i wanted in my life again and it's been almost four months so i'm still creating i am still working and i am excited about this new journey i am keeping positive um although i lost all my artwork oh my goodness all my stuff you know I can recreate it and maybe it's better that I don't have my things anymore and just to give me a new start and just delete those memories because you know I left and I had to not look back and the reason why I didn't get my stuff well I had to leave I didn't have a decision truly to plan to leave I had to leave and it was a moment of do or lay down type of thing so hey here I am back in Florida loving it you know might go to Cali might not go to Cali we'll see how life goes I mean this would be a huge opportunity and this would be something that I would be forever like just thankful for just to even just walk on Cali because I've always wanted to go to Cali yeah, it is. So, how is my love life going? Well, it's going pretty good. I mean, I've never realized how to be single. I've never, I've never been single before. <laughs> I was always either in a relationship with my mother or my uncle or okay, hold on, that sounded weird. I was either in a relationship with my family or um, my ex-husband. So now that I'm single not ready to mingle but <laughs> I mean life is good life is great being single I, I plan on being single for a very long time you know just to you know I just wanna I wanna like love me I wanna give the world to me you know type of thing so I'm motivated to to work and to eat <laughs> and to work on myself and truly blossom and if the right man comes that's you know everything that I personally want um, because you know I've been in a relationship I know what I want because I've seen what I don't want and I don't want nothing nothing like my ex I don't want nothing like it nothing nothing completely opposite actually 
So um, please do not look at my ex and say, oh, she like at this one and that one and this one. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> First of all, he needs to be driving a big old truck because the type of projects that I like, <laughs> I need somebody to have a big truck so I can put all, all my stuff in there in the truck. Because sometimes I, I would drive around the neighborhood and my car is not big enough to carry the furniture. So... If you got a truck, we can be friends. <laughs> That's the start of a relationship. Anyways. But on a, on a serious note, you know, we're enjoying life. And I'm not dating yet. 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 When I'm ready, I'll let me. <laughs> okay, so how are you in, how am I in team settings? I would say I'm really well in team settings. You know, there's no I in team. Okay, it's Courtney. Um, I I will call, I will um in a team settings I would say I'm more of a leader, but I know also how to play both parts. So I can be a leader and also a person that can follow directions. So I you know it depends on the situation. It depends on the situation. If I am a strong believer in a certain you know subject, then I will state my point and very confident in it so definitely if I feel like somebody is a possibly has a different or better idea then I will follow that and I'm like yeah and then I'll add a little spice into that you know into that idea so I am definitely a team player I love working with people and I feel like working with people is a lot better than just having one person do all the job I've done the job all by myself before I've done the job you know, even being in a relationship all by myself. And I mean, come on! It takes a team to create. It takes a community to create something magical. To create something beautiful. To create something everlasting. So, teams are always good to work with. You get the job faster done. You, you have less stress. You get to talk to somebody. You know? Yeah, yeah. And if there's a, if an issue arises, how would I handle it? Well, that's easy. It's called talking and putting a smile while you talk. Yeah. You see, it just sounds more friendly when you have a smile on. <laughs> um, what it would mean to me if I ended up winning the renovation show? Well, if I got to win the design show, I would... No, no, I'd, I'd be ex really excited, <laughs> really happy. Um, it's something that I'm really so, so passionate about. I think that's possibly one of the biggest things that truly make me happy inside is expressing myself through color and texture and lighting and <laughs> and just just showing what my brain is and, and the ideas and the creativity that I have and in, in, into reality if I can show that and win with all the passions and all the energy and all the love and you know I take the pain that I feel and I create and I'm pretty sure you guys do too but <laughs> but I definitely take pain and I use it into something positive and I, I feel the fire it fuels my fire and if I got to win that it would mean so much to me just to prove it to you know some of the family members that did kind of put me down growing up um, into being a creative and it would make me so proud to to know that there's people that are rooting out for me um, like in my live stream um, and I know they would be so happy and they would know that you know you did it Makani like you did it we saw you grow up <laughs> like we saw you be shy and not know what you're doing to being this person that's confident and you know what you're doing and you know how to make magic out of your hand you just yeah like yeah type of thing <laughs> I don't have the words <laughs> um so what would I do if it was a cash prize well that's a great question I mean cash is all this good um but I do have a friend that I promise if I you know ended up you know getting rich or making some money <laughs> getting some money out of it I would definitely would love to um, design and buy and design a, a friend of mine a wheelchair 
Um, my best friend, I grew up with her. She has CP, Laquina. And I would love to give her a new chair, something that's very modern and that could last her for a long time. Uh, very tech-driven <laughs> type of wheelchair. Um, and just give that to her and as well as a shopping spree because she deserves that. And, you know, I just moved back here and I'm fixing everything and she's so excited that I may have this opportunity and I I don't know where where my life is going and I don't know what what's in store for me I don't know what the universe is trying to make me make me get I actually got this um I actually knew about this opportunity from a friend of mine that you that watched me live and they told me kind you should apply for this show in California uh, just apply and I was like huh yeah California I'm in Florida I mean come on I wish I was in Florida and they're like just apply so I ended up opening it up and I applied and I got to see like you know I just applied it took me like two minutes and then next thing you know I had somebody you know I submitted some of my stuff and my pictures and I had somebody interviewing on the phone and he loved my personality and I was like oh Oh, well, thank you, thank you so much, type of thing. And he was excited for me to do a, a audition with for the producers. And I'm not gonna lie, I was super nervous because I've never did that before. So I was like, the you know, the lady was asking me questions, and I was like getting super, 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 super nervous. I mean, oh Lord have mercy. I was like trying to calm down. So. You know, we'll see how that works, but um, I think it went well, and this is my last tape, and showing my creativity, and showing, I guess, who I am in a comfortable setting. This project. Over here. Oh, let's go on. You can open it slowly. <laughs> right, this is my latest project that I've done. Right here. Do you guys see the LED strip? Okay, if you guys, I'm gonna show you the before picture. Right here. Wow! Um, and I also, a lot of the stuff that I've got, gotten is actually thrifted. Do you see that? $2.98. This beautiful guitar that matches the vibe. For, for I think $14, $12.98. And just look at this. Look at this vibe my mom went absolutely crazy when she saw that I painted this black she's like Yama what are you doing you're painting your room black and I'm like well the way my life is set up right now I think black is appropriate but we made it into something very modern and and chic so here it is with um, the light right here and then we have our pink area this is my custom little closet that i've created this is my area this is my space um to study to do my thing and our goal is to make a difference that's the goal and here's like my closet and there goes me well <laughs> and yeah that is my my little room everything that you guys see here is 100% thrifted pretty much okay no everything that you see here is 80% thrifted um, I painted the headboard that was thrifted um, I also painted the side table I have this painted I painted that I painted those black I have that as M for Makaini and then we have our closet all of my things are thrifted um, there we go <laughs> and uh, my pillowcases are thrifted as well um, we designed this and we have this wonderful golden pillowcase and look at that isn't that amazing yes <laughs> and then if i move this oh okay hold on one second and place you right here take you guys on a journey over here uh. Okay, over here, I actually have my my goals written over here. Hey, hey, hey. Can't see all the goals, but you can see some of them. <laughs> I have all my goals written here, behind here. So I put the mirror there 
you know. You don't have to, but I appreciate I didn't know where else to put this mirror and I, I love this mirror. So, so I'll do my, my daily dose of fashion in there. <laughs> and then I have this that I've I've renovated and painted. Also another thing that I did inside the closets, I actually painted painted the closets inside. They were wood. They were dark brown. I plan on adding LED strips. I'm not done with the closet piece yet. So I'm still working on it. Um, I'm still working on it because I think it's a little, you know, I'd probably just move some of this stuff here to make it a little bit more chic and modern. See how that made a big difference? Hey y'all, there we go. <laughs> I mean, kind of, yeah. Yeah, anyways, yep, this is real wood. It's beautiful. And there we have it. And my favorite color is fuchsia. I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> it's definitely my favorite color. And here we have it. Bing, bing, bing. And in the morning, this just lights up so wonderfully. Hashtag Makani. Makani Designs. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys a day of a life with a Makani. It's coming. No, like I've just always seen lay down. Say, no. Look at this guy. The rhino. The rhino. Yeah, wow. Wow. Over here, turn around. Come. It's morning. I know. It's right there. It's not turning. <laughs> oh my goodness. He turns around again. Yeah. Yay. It's gorgeous. It really is. Hi. Oh my goodness. Hi. Isn't that beautiful? A blue. I know. That's my favorite color. That, blue. Those blues right there is my favorite color. Purple. Bring our handy dandy tool belt. <clears throat> to the colors. Okay, you guys see the pink in the middle? You see the red? Well, we're gonna incorporate these colors all around my my theme. This is my theme colors: this reddish, pink, and black. I do a lot of DIYs. I paint shoes. <laughs> I make like custom kind of jewelry. Um, well, that's paper, but I do do that. <laughs> and I make outfits, I make clothes. I love cosplay. Here's my last project that I, I worked on. I've been working on OPS for the last last days, so I'm excited. We're almost ready. Uh, can you kind of see that? Okay, anyways. 
Got my camera set up right there. Pink on pink. Look at this. I'm telling you, it's my garage. This is where I can be creative and be free and do what I like to do. No interruptions and just. I love it. I'm my own DJ. I wonder if I can actually make my garage door art. That's how I see it. <laughs> so I'm thinking of actually putting LED strips all along this garage wall and then probably putting some stickers or um, just make some, I don't know, custom art. Stay tuned. I'm going to take you guys on a journey with me. Well, we remodel this or just kind of fix it up, not remodel. Hey, I'm almost done with my garage. I love how it's looking. Um, again, this is another little makeover I'm doing. So I am in love. I think it looks good. It's really comfy. It's like my snake. Look at my snake. Ah, snake rub. This is a vibe. Streaming like how I used to stream on Beagle. I used to put my camera right here and just do my thing. Oh, smart. <laughs> J-Lo cosplay performance on my live soon. Just doing something quick for my performance. This was a highly requested and this is what I'm doing. Resembles her look, her style. This is, I gotta make this life shorter for me. <laughs> I'm trying to measure. This is, I gotta make this life shorter for me. <laughs> I'm trying to measure it for myself. But wow, I like this back um, idea. I probably is gonna. I'm probably gonna wrap it. Um, either I'm going to wrap it, like just to, you know, back will be kind of. I don't know if it's gonna be out. Or I'm gonna do a zigzag. Lightly. Yeah, look at that back. I need to take. making stuff for my dolls. I'm like, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to sew and glue all this together by hand. Just like little touch-ups. Making sure the dress does not fall apart. She has two slits down her leg. For one of those slits, I'm only going to do one slit for this, for this dress. For one of her slits, I'm actually going to be cutting the dress completely down I'm cutting the dress completely down all the way to the floor. That's it. Easy peasy. Don't have to do zipper. Don't have to do none of that. What do you guys think about that? So exactly. This is the back of the dress. I'm sorry. This is the back. So from this is the front of the dress. I am going to sew everything in place. So slit, slit, slit. Going down the leg. All the way to the floor. I'm gonna have some leg action that's gonna show. This, and then like, this is perfect. This is exactly how I want it. I want it to be long. Like you know, low. Like, what I've learned from a mirror.